You want revenge? Show me. Yo, what's up everybody? It's Grandmaster Bushido Brown and welcome back to the Dojo. Oh. If you don't know what the Dojo is, it's my boss tutorial guide that I'm making on Sifu. And today, the boss that I'm going to be covering is Jin Fong. I think that's how you say it. She's the CEO. Very easy to deal with. Like, the easiest boss in the entire game. I don't even feel like I really need to make a tutorial on her. But, hey, I'm doing it anyway. If this content actually helps you guys out as far as, like, what the bosses go, uh, do me a favor and hit that like button. Uh, subscribe to my channel. I'm going to do some more tutorials and other games eventually in the future. Also, drop a comment. Drop a like. Drop by. Say hey. But uh, I'm not going to talk too long. We'll go ahead and get into it because uh, I've been up all day and I've been recording all day. So I'm kind of tired. But anyway, let's get it. All right. So now we're about to start fighting the fourth boss, Jin Feng. Jin Feng, she's pretty easy to. Uh, she basically just tries to keep you at a distance the entire time. There's certain moves you need to you need to be aware of. And I'll let you know what those moves are. So this is how the fight normally begins. She's going to be standing away from you a little bit. And she'll throw her little golden bell at you. Um, while you're standing back there. The first two attacks. Like these attacks are very easy to read. Because they're always uh, two high attacks and a low. They're easy to evade also. See that's a high attack. Another high attack, low attack. All right. So after she does her low attack, um, it's one of those structure moves that you got. It's a, they say it's unblockable, but it's not unblockable. You you can block it. It just does a lot to your structure bar if you get hit with it. But this move's easy to avoid anyway. So after she does this, you just rush in and get a couple of hits in. All right. So when she spot dodges you, be careful because she does a couple of different moves. One of them is like a palm thrust. And I don't know why, but if she hits you with that palm thrust, it fills up your uh, structure gauge all the way to freak up. Like almost like breaking it with just one hit, which is freaking crazy. So be aware of the palm strike. You have to kind of time it too because it doesn't come as fast as you think it does. It comes out slow and then it strikes fast and it's, it's like really annoying to deal with. So <clears throat> when you get a trap like that, sometimes, sometimes she won't respond by um, doing a palm thrust or attack. She just throw her gold bell into the middle of a ring and swing away. So you just chase her down. Those are two highs and a low. You just hop it, run in. Now she'll do a cartwheel away. Be aware of this. When she cartwheels away from you, she's going to throw that golden bell at you also. It's easy to avoid because you kind of know it's already coming when she does the flip. And that was the palm thrust that I'm talking about. I don't know why this move does so much damage. Like if you get hit with it, it does damage. If you don't get hit with it and it just hits your block, it does a lot of structure damage. So it's kind of crazy. But normally she'll come in with a high and then she'll do this palm thrust so just step aside and get your counter in now some tips for her, like when i'm fighting her if you want to place a safe way because me since i follow her a bunch of times i kind of know how to deal with her all you really got to do is just stand back let her throw these two bells at you avoid the first uh two high attacks and then you hop the low attack that she does when she tries to sweep you on the ground as soon as you avoid that, you just immediately run at her and just start hitting her. Now, you can only probably get like two or three hits in. Once you do that fourth hit, she might evade and respond with a counter move. So be ready. There's that palm strike again. There's that palm strike again. Like I said, I don't know why it does so much damage. But if you even if you block, you take a shit ton of structure damage. It would be something to do with her being old.
Now nah, that was a new move. Sometimes she'll do that, but that's just a it's a, just a high attack. Like all her moves are basically like high attacks. She really don't have any thing to really trick you with. I mean, she'll throw a low, but you can clearly see when that low is coming. Most of her stuff is high, high, low, high, high, low, or she'll just do high attacks. It gets like really annoying because she just tries to keep you away from her. It's a high, two highs, and then you hop the low, run in, punch her, boom. Now she jumped back and she did that. Now she's back in the center of the ring. High, high, low. Rush in here. High, high. See all these highs? And then you just hop the last one. Now see that was that. That move is actually a two hit. So when she darts around you like that and she flips it once, that's actually a hit. So you need to try to uh, dodge that. And then the second portion is after it goes around in a circle, she'll throw it at you. So you need to be ready to avoid two hits or block two hits. I try to just spot dodge them. It's easier. High, high, low. Rush in. Took too long. High, low. I blocked that one. I got careless. And she hops away. And see, she hit me at that, that time. So you got to be ready whenever she starts parrying. You got to be ready to, to uh, deal with that. High. High. Low. Boom. High. She threw it at me. Swam back into the middle again. The whole thing is she's trying to play a keep away game. So that's her whole thing. She tried to sweep me. Flipped away, threw it at me again. High, 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 low. Now I can run in again. See, it's just a keep away game. She's really just playing keep away with me. High. There's another high. You know that one's coming. That one's coming. And there you go. Now we're on to the second phase. See, she's she's easy in the first phase and the second phase. Now, second phase, I get a little bit reckless here. See, there's a. There's the two highs again. She still do the same thing. High, high, low. Now that right there, that move right there is tricky because it's not like Karuki's. Like Karuki's, you can easily just rapidly tap um, your spot dodge to avoid her attack like that. But with Jin Fang, you can't do that with her. Like for this, um, that twirl has a timing to it. So you got to match the timing or you'll get clipped by one or two of these. Or you might just end up just blocking. Now, when you see her start this move up, it's like a, it's like a charge gut punch. And then she goes into this twirl around her head and swings it high. There's going to be a load that come next. Yep, right there. You can easily tell what that is. Now, that's a palm strike. Like I said, you got to be careful with that because it does a lot of structure damage. And there it goes again. You just hop over it. See, most of her moves are just high, high, low. She doesn't have any really good mix up. So, like, that's why she's not that difficult. You swung to the middle twice. Then she's going to do it on the ground again. There you go. Run in, pop her. Boom. She jumps back. Now, that was a different move right there. Uh, when she jumps back like that, she'll come in with an overhead. Boom. Then she'll try to kick you. If she kicks you, she's going to knock you on the ground. And then she's going to hit you with this next move. Right there. It's like a, It looks like a yo-yo, pretty much. But she'll do that, too. All you got to do is just make sure you avoid it. This is pretty easy to avoid right here once you get used to fighting her. That's the palm strike. Now, just that one palm strike. Look what it did. My structure bar is almost at max. Just from taking this one palm move, which is freaking crazy to me. I'm like, what did you put in your arm? Bane juice? Like, what the fuck? But yeah, just uh, make sure you avoid this palm strike, especially if you don't have full structure. Because if it hits you, it will break your guard. And then she'll follow it up with another attack. There she goes. She threw that at me again. Boom, boom. There you go. Now you rush in. Now, see, she caught me with the overhead that time. Backing up. Now, see, I knew that was coming. 
Yep. Avoid that. That's a pump strike. Damage in. See, anytime she comes in with that gut punch, it's going to be a high, high, low. And then you can punish her at the end of that. Hi. Uh, and that was it. Now, remember when she comes in with a kick? When she comes in with a high kick like this. Or excuse me, not high kick. But when she comes in with an overhead, it's going to be followed up by a kick. And then it's followed up by this weird yo-yo move. Like it's like it'll catch you slipping sometimes like i don't know why this move is like slow you should easily be able to avoid it but somehow sometimes it just catch you slipping now i get the big punch in boom get on the ground and jen fang is done for there's nothing really special to her the only thing you gotta worry about is like whenever um she does whenever she knocks you on the ground if she sweeps you she gotta immediately try to hit you with an overhead bell and it does a lot of damage so if you hit the ground make sure you hit r2 and try to get away from it that's whole whole thing is she wants to knock you on the ground so she can clock you at the bell that's the gimmick so as long as you don't fall on the ground you're pretty you be able to pretty much dodge all her stuff because it's predictable it's just up up down and one of her up attacks is like a grab move that grab move in the second phase she's gonna grab you and pull you over there to her so she can get a cheap ass hit in And that's pretty much it to her. Like, she's very simple. Like, that, she's probably, like, the easiest boss in the entire game, to be honest. Like, she didn't give me problems like the other boss gave me problems. So, that's how you fight Jin Fang. There's nothing really special to her. And that was pretty much Jin Fong. Or Jin Fang. However you want to say it. It's, it's one or the other. But she's not a hard boss. Like, cake. Just straight cake. Like, even when I first got to her the first time, she didn't beat me at all. So, uh, you shouldn't really have any problems with her. Only thing you kind of got to watch for is just getting hit with the bell because it does. Uh, she hits you pretty hard with that fucking golden bell, I ain't gonna lie. Or her breaking your structure damage, but she's very easy to deal with and it shouldn't really be a problem. But hey, if you found this information to be helpful, like I said before, you know, hit that like button. Also subscribe to my channel. I'm trying to grow the channel. I'm trying to get more people to come around here and watch these videos. I'm just doing seafood right now. And I'm going to do other games eventually down the line but you know it's kind of hard when you got a job and all this other stuff but anyway uh thank you for stopping by i hope you guys have a nice day and take it easy